Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today we're proud to present a beautiful 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. It is a resto mod, 300 miles on the restoration. If you want to find out more information on this beautiful Kona Blue with white stripes, not vinyl, painted, click on the link below. It's going to give you underside shots, transportation quotes, the whole nine yards, including a full gallery and this test drive. Let's go into details. We're going to start off with the front end of this Fastback. I'd rate this easily a 9 out of 10. No major imperfections. Chrome is show quality. It has the Shelby style hood. The only imperfection, we're going to start off with that and then go on to the amazing parts of this vehicle. Small little scratches right here. Other than that, this car is a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Under the hood, you're going to have a built 289. Roller rockers, the whole nine yards. Pistons are 10. Point five. Uh, you do have a CVS whole entire front bracket, including the air condition setup, ice cold air, a high output alternator, upgraded uh, exhaust manifolds, and then you can see who built it, RMR Dream Cars. And then it was sent back to them after the purchase for the final go through. This is gonna be our first time test driving it today, so you guys get to see an exact representation of what this vehicle is. You can look at all of the components throughout the engine bay and see how nice it, it is. It has the MSD blaster coil right here and it starts up every single time. Upgraded brakes, so if you're looking at the wheels right there, which are the Rocket Racing Attack wheels, they're 18s. You have disc brakes in the front and you have disc brakes in the rear. It does have the GT350 badging throughout. And as you look at the body lines, it's extremely straight. Shelby styled scoops in the rear. Extremely nice, look at the roof line. Paint quality is extremely beautiful. Glass is in great shape too. Looks like it's the original style glass with small imperfections in the glass, nothing major. The seat actually does fold down so you can put items in the rear. It does have a parchment style interior. Five speed Tremec, so it's a TKO transmission. Upgraded Cobra wheel. Uh, it does have an upgraded steering rack as well, so it drives unbelievable. Dash is in great shape, upgraded stereo, and as I said, ice cold air. Today what we're going to do is take it for a test drive, so you can decide if this is what you want to put in your garage. This is a no expense spared build, and I hope it goes to the right home. Let's continue with the walk around. Rear bumper is extremely nice, chrome shows well, brand new tank, and please take a moment to click on the link below. So that's going to give you a full gallery with underside shots. So you can see all the suspension has ride tech rear, uh, adjustable uh, dampeners in the front. It's beautiful. I'll open the trunk up for you so you can see in there. It has a nice little trunk kit. Car cover is included. See the trunk kit is all carpet. You don't see the exposed gas tank. Driver's side is extremely clean. All the grill slats are in great shape. And the fitment for these wheels is beautiful. Ring Brothers handles, no rust throughout. Door cards are in great shape. Seat belts are brand new. The, the actual pedal assemblies are in great condition as well. You have those GT350 floor mats as well. Upgraded, uh, let me see here. Upgraded Dakota gauges, that's the HDX series. So you have a LED screen in the center. Very cool because you can see all of your functions and, and monitor a lot more things than the normal gauge would do. You have your trim tag right here. So it was originally an A-code. And look at that, look how nice that door closes. Let me start it up for you and we'll take it for a spin. Very healthy engine, sounds extremely nice. You can see the Dakota digital gauges here. We've got great oil pressure, our fuel gauge is working as it should, our voltage is working. Uh, we've got water temperature of 140 degrees right now and it's slowly rising. Glove box is really clean and you can see the, uh, the computer system here for the uh, fuel injection, which is very nice. I actually use the same one in my boat. So if you guys have questions on how to tune the idle for it, you can give us a call. We can help you out there. Um, rear seats are great. 
This actually folds down so you can, you can actually use it as a, uh, as a storage area, but it looks good with the seats. Headliner's in great shape. Tremec 5-speed, TKO 5-speed. Let's we'll see how the clutch feels. Clutch release is nice. We'll take a left here, get out into Ravenswood. Some bumps right here. So you can adjust your seats, go back, forward. This is a good position right here. You do have a tilt column, which is nice. So if you're bigger, it's gonna make life easier. <laughs> it's a muscle car, it feels good. A little burble from the exhaust. Brakes are even and smooth. What we're gonna do is go to our test road so you guys can see some outside shots and get some artistic shots. I'll let you decide if this is the right ride for you. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Or you can email us at sales at bulletmotorsport.com and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. Turn signals are working, you can see it on the dash. So everything's set up properly. We're in third gear right now at 2,500 RPMs, fourth at 2,000, and we still have the fifth gear, which would be like our overdrive. It's running down the road nicely at 55 miles per hour. We'll take a left here. I love the individual throttle bodies because of that sound you get, just like the suction sound. Downshifts are easy. that test drive. If you have any questions, give us a call. 954-363-2261.